and welcome to Jelly Studio. Let's get creative. Hi there. Uh, for today, I want to share with you the different ways I use brushes for brush lettering. I'm also a beginner myself, and these are my ways of creating brush lettering. I hope you pick up one or two things in this video especially for those beginners I don't really have fancy materials or fancy uh, papers and those expensive uh, coloring materials but you don't need don't really need expensive ones to create a good uh, artwork right now I'm only using Crayola Super Tips, which is a very popular option, especially for beginners. And the first method I'm going to show you is by using a purple color. So basically, we have basically we will be using two different colors. First is the main color, which is the purple color. And then we're going to put some shadow by using the same color but on the lighter accent so the second one that I'm using right now is purple light lighter purple this is going to give our lettering some kind of 3d effect on it and it looks very cool I think you can also try to use other colors usually the set of uh, brushes have varying uh, accents for the same color like greens usually have different accents in it reds you can use orange as an accent those kinds of things For the next one, we will be using the lighter color as the main color this time. All throughout the video, we will be rewriting Friday because it's Friday today. And just to give you an idea how you can give different looks on the same word. Even just using the same colors, you know. And <clears throat> the darker color will be used as a second layer only on the bottom part of the lettering the goal here is to give it a gradient look you can also put the darker color on top of on top part of the lettering or if you have two layers of lettering you can get creative and use it at the top and bottom part and the lighter part will be on the middle now on to the next one as they say black looks good and it does look good on any color you can partner it with any color and it will definitely look good in this example we are going to partner it with purple the main color will be the black one and the accent will be the purple one or the violet one I'm not really sure when to call it purple or when to call it violet there's even plum right but you can use any of it and it will look good with the Crayola super tip set the black actually looks a little bit lighter it's not black as of the black You can use this if you want a darker theme. Now 
somehow this reminds me of a joker thing because it's black and purple alternatively you can also use black to be the shadow so this time let's go back to making the darker purple to be the main color then let's make use of the black to be the shadow Another shadow color that you may use is the gray. It is a very, very subtle shadow and it also looks good in any color. Now on the next one, we will still be using purple, the dark variant. But this time, instead of using another brush pen, we will be using a pen, particularly a white pen. See, this is the Uniball Signal. I've made a review of different white pens and which one performs the best. You may check it on the video on the right corner if you want to see which is the best white pen. So this kind of look gives it a different uh, vibe. It's also very clean looking, especially if you try it on other colors of brush pens. Second to the last one that I'll be sharing is by using complementary colors. So basically, if we have a color wheel, the complementary color is directly the opposite color of the color. For example, this purple, the opposite color of it in the color wheel is yellow, which is what we will be using in this sample. Complementary colors are the, somehow the perfect match because it gives the right contrast. I'm no way a specialist when it comes to color, but it's just somehow a general rule that complementary colors complement each other this colorway purple and yellow might be familiar with you as this is the color of a famous NBA basketball group LA Lakers you may also think of Barney as you see this color <laughs> purple and yellow last but definitely not the least it's probably my most favorite one or the looks that I'm most fond of is and again my favorite is using darker color because you know I like things to be dark in a way or it depends on my mood actually but you but for this video I think darker color will give better visuals and we will partner this with black pen and I think this gives a really good 3d look especially if done right as for when or where to write the lines it's solely based on practice I still get a lot of mistakes while doing this but I enjoy doing it a lot it 
feels like I'm dancing or you know moving with the letters and I don't know I just can't explain the feeling especially when it's done and it went well it's very satisfying to see how the lines fold and the witches show and here's a quick overview of all the letterings I made during these techniques and I made a few samples of other colors don't worry too much if it's not showing very nice at first uh, remember we are doing art just for us to get relaxed or appreciate colors I don't need to be in competition with anyone and if you don't get it right at first just keep going and learn, make, repeat. Hope you like the video. Bye.